What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So let's take some time to talk about uh, Terra Luna Classic a little bit. Um, break down some really, really good news, even though we are seeing the market kind of um, not really make the most positive moves. It's not the most negative uh, at times, especially coming off of some pretty interesting news regarding, <clears throat> um, you know, Genesis and Gemini Urn and all of that stuff that... Um, you know, really leads to the question if, you know, any exchange or any place that you really put your coin um, or your your investment, is it really safe? Um, but, you know, I, I like to really focus on the positives while also giving you some of that uh, negative information if it does include facts. Now, uh, what I want to do is take some time to talk about, um, you know, Terra Luna Classic, talk about what has finally happened and why we do have any type of good news right now and what this really means for Terra Luna Classic going forward. Uh, now, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. I am thinking about doing um, live streams strictly on uh, Patreon, um, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure I'll do like, you know, like a half and half type of thing because um, I do uh, do live streams like on Twitch and on uh, TikTok as well. So uh, I do plan on doing longer live streams, but just splitting them up. So instead of doing the live stream uh, strictly just on YouTube and, you know, everybody can watch it, also give people benefits that are, um, you know, subscribed or following on Patreon and doing those more personal to where we can answer multiple questions that come from people that are Patreon members. Because it seems like anytime we do uh, members only or, um, you know, do some sort of, um, you know, select group of, of people that are... Um, you know, very interested in the crypto market or interested in investments tend to ask uh, really, really good questions, really engaging questions that, um, you know, also provide me with videos for the uh, later in the day to fully explain exactly what I meant. Um, so anyways, if you guys want to join that, feel free to go over to Patreon. Let me know if you are interested in that. If you are a Patreon member, if you are interested in it, I haven't like approved it yet. <clears throat> but I know that we have a decent amount of Patreon members over there, like 200 plus. And if we do live stream strictly just for the Patreon members, that's another benefit. So feel free to let me know. And, um, you know, it, it'll be great to be able to have that. Um, we won't have any moderation or anything like that. But anyways, we're here to talk about Terra Luna Classic. Because, um, like I said, we had some really, really good news. And I don't think it's like the biggest news to where it's like hey we're now uh buying on terra station i would love when that news goes live um or you know we're burning off half the supply or anything like that that's not the good news that we have <clears throat> mainly the news surrounds coin market cap to where technically it's not fully updated to where we stand with the total amount but it is um updated here so let me go ahead and as you can see, the market is down by 1%. Ethereum is kind of leading the way, leading the charge with this downward turn <clears throat> down to 1,200 or less than 1,200. But if we scroll all the way down here and we get to, I believe it's 38th, oh, now it's 40th um, on the list when it comes to market cap. We're looking at a $1 billion market cap for Terra Luna Classic. Currently, the price is at 0 0.000-1731, which I would love to see it gain another zero because if it does, <coughs> it'll create a buying opportunity for a lot of people, but people see this as a buying opportunity. And it's very, very interesting. Um, to see the prices even this low it's not insanely low we've seen it lower um but since you have a bunch of people that you know are holding the position that do believe in the position that hold it long term that stake the position as well <clears throat> you know higher than a lot of other stakes uh, that are out there with different positions typically you see like five to ten percent we're seeing 12 12 and a half percent for terra luna classic now, if we look at the volume, we're seeing $108 million worth of volume. We need to increase that volume. I talked about that in my previous video about focus. Um, we need to focus on trying to get more volume on chain rather than just, you know, through CEXs or anything. But right now, <coughs> since we are seeing, um, you know, CEXs that are questioned, you're seeing less volume that's going through CEXs as well as decentralized volume. Most people are flowing through uh, the decentralized platform, going through Terra Station, seeing that volume increase. However, with a down market, 
uh, a lot of people don't like to invest, which doesn't really make sense. Typically in a down market, you wanna invest there. So you're probably asking yourself, hey, what's this good news that you're mentioning? Well, the good news is that coin market cap finally updated the circulating supply. Um, you know, because what we've seen before is it's been kind of fluctuating in numbers that just don't make sense. And even this number doesn't really make sense because currently the circulating supply is around 5.8 or 5.9 trillion which you're probably asking yourself, what does that really make a difference? Well, it does. You're looking at a difference of 1 trillion um, at you know 5.8 trillion versus having 6.5 or 6.7 or 6.9 uh, trillion that is out there. So the circulating supply looks a lot better, gives it a better price opportunity um, uh, from as a whole. You know, when you're looking at it, you're saying, okay, this can get to a $1 billion market cap, but a $1 billion market cap um, with a six billion or six trillion dollar supply or tricks sorry not six trillion dollar supply six trillion coin supply um versus a one billion dollar market cap at a seven trillion coin supply is you know a lot higher of a price because price multiplied by supply equals the market cap so if you're seeing that standard market cap that it hovers at then you know that you're going to have a higher price um you know, because of it. Now, will it be a ridiculously higher price? No, because you're still talking about trillions. No matter what, you need to see way less in order to get to some of these other prices that we want to get to, um, like 10 cents or a dollar. But when we look at a level of a penny, um, you know, you start to think about it and you're like, okay, this makes sense uh, as it's getting closer and closer to uh, $6 trillion circulating, six trillion circulating supply, um, you would see a $60 billion market cap. And as it does continue to decrease, uh, one penny would be a $58 billion market cap or $55 billion market cap or $50 billion market cap. So it does truly make a difference when you look at Terra Luna Classic and look at the circulating supply. So this is big news to be able to see this. Um, I don't think there's many people that are really talking about it. If they are talking about it. It's kind of like a hint to it. But this is this is huge news for Terra Luna Classic. Um, actually seeing it update in coin market cap gives people that literally only use this as a visual or use uh, coin gecko as a visual um, are now seeing the six trillion that's there and how much is actually being staked because there's a lot that's being staked um, and that's probably the next question is like what's the difference between those does that mean dilution no this means <clears throat> a staked position that already released uh, out in the open um, but as more gets unstaked or restaked or more gets uh, staked there, you're gonna see that overall circulating supply dial down um, or start to fall down, um, which eventually if everybody decided to release their stake tokens, yes, it does create dilution from where that price is, but it creates a better price ceiling uh, for um, what we know of Terra Luna Classic today, what we see of Terra Luna Classic today. Um, and obviously it's going to take 21 days for people to end up making those type of moves. So anyways, guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I thought that was really, really interesting news, really big news. I'm sorry that I, uh, didn't go live today. I actually woke up late for some reason. I don't know why it's like, um, you know, I, I start coughing a lot. So then I take NyQuil at night and sometimes NyQuil will just knock you out. And I literally woke up. Um, not too long ago. Luckily, Erica was, uh, she had to, she got the kids ready and, and did all that stuff. Typically I'm working, but, um, she let me sleep. So I, I appreciate that. Um, sometimes I, I may not appreciate it because I, I want to work, but I, I appreciate being able to catch up on sleep because I, I need it. Um, anyways, guys, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We will be live soon. Um, let me know if you are interested in that Patreon thing to where we are going live on Patreon. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do one um, maybe for like 30 minutes today, um, going from maybe like 8.30 to 9 just to check to see who's here and who's interested in doing something like that. Um, so let me know. But I'm going to upload this video um, right now. I don't know when. I don't know when it's going to actually get posted, but I'm going to upload this video now and uh, just let me know if you're interested in it. And I'll probably be live on like maybe TikTok as well as Patreon. Um, so anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. And uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next video.